And if you would all stop yelling, this is what Democrats do. They start yelling before you can even answer the question. I am trying to ask a question. You call people, you call white people autistic kids. You say we all work at Chick-fil-A and never work for anything. You call us white, you, you call it, no, these are all tweets that I have screenshots of. But how can you, I, let me ask my damn question. How can you say you talk about freedom and equality and all these things, but you talk about a certain group of people as if you put them in these stereotypes? Okay, so you need stereotypes in order to do any sort of revolution and justice work. You can't fight for the poor unless you're people who are poor. Because some people who are poor have worked with some folks are like, you can't say that all people are poor who are poor. Yes, you can. You need stereotypes. This is the papers I can give you to. I'm sorry, can I put them? You did not hurt my feelings. So, um, <laughs> so you need stereotypes if you're going to talk about justice. Justice. You can't fight for women if, like, someone says, "Well, you know, there's some trans people who." Like, no, you need to talk about generalities that that amount that accept um, that admit exceptions. And if you get individualized in the discourse, you'll never actually fight for any sort of group rights. Like this is how you get the not all men. So like some, so apparently we don't have a problem with like, like producers in California because like Henry Winkler, the Fonzie, is actually a good guy. So like we shouldn't just like, well, we shouldn't just say like maybe we have a problem with how we teach men how to be real power in California in the in, in, in that producer power. No, you need stereotypes in order. You need generalizations. You need heuristics in order to do serious justice works. And it's a strategy. It's a strategy. To, to, um, to pretend that like all white people are individuals, <laughs> like, um, especially when you look at the wealth numbers. Um, so you're not saying we're all individuals. I never worked at Chick-fil-A. I'm Jewish, and I'm a member of the LGBT community. And you're, you're putting me in this group of people who supposedly work at Chick-fil-A. You're an instructor here. You teach a course, and you subject students to this kind of hateful-ass rhetoric. And I think it is a damn shame that people go to this university, and you subject them to that. Have you ever looked at your Rate My Professor reviews? You subject people to negative rhetoric against white people when you don't know every white person that goes to this university. You don't know anybody's struggle. No, like, like this is. I feel like this is a naive trope. I know that's where you're at. I'm at a different place. You said that every suburban community in Georgia raises white supremacists. So, How can you possibly say that? You don't know what every white community in Georgia does. That is an extreme statement. That's an extreme statement. I live in one too, and I didn't have the typical heterosexual. Uh, no, I'm talking now. I did not have the same heterosexual experience that people in these communities had. So how can you generalize me into this stereotype when you don't know my experiences? So you just asked him a question. I was going to answer it, okay? I don't feel like he's answered my question at all. I didn't even realize. Y'all yelled at me while I was trying to ask my question. Well, so you just asked one. Now let him answer it. He can answer, it, and when he's done, you can ask another one. Does that sound good? in the South by covering um, the appearance of niceness with like actual thought and concern. Like, um, and maybe I'm wrong in that, but I suspect people who have uh, grown up here and consider themselves very Southern would agree that manners have a very complicated role in sustaining oppression. Right? And if we're not going to talk about that, and we're not going to talk about manners as a tool to cover, like, I feel like inappropriate. There's nothing brave about coming to a room of people and saying things that they all agree with and that they're going to snap for when it's fucking wrong. There's right, what you say is wrong. You don't know everybody's experiences here. You don't. So how can you teach a class that is a prereq for some people to graduate, that is a requirement for some people to graduate, that they are subjected to taking, and you say such hateful ass stuff as that? I'm not oppressed. I'm not. No, I'm not oppressed. But there are people on this campus who are that he's putting into a box, and that's not appropriate. I have not prompted these. I have not prompted these people. I strongly suggest you talk to them about whether the, the class for me was worthwhile. Or just teach my own philosophy class right now. I'll tell you, it's fantastic. I wish you taught my.